All right, continue on for all of that. But one thing that people, you know, do know in life, and we all know this to be a fact, things continue on as, you know, without, with or without that person who was leading it. So the iPhone, the leader of the iPhone development and the leader of the Windows and, and the Microsoft Surface development, you know, them leaving the company is not going to affect how Microsoft is going to continue on. Yes, people can say that Steve Jobs, you know, may be the fall of Apple, but I don't think so. I just think they need to get rid of Tim Cook, okay? Or just take him off the CEO seat and let someone else run that company who has the same passion as Steve Jobs. Wozniak, I don't think he's the right guy for it. He's too far gone. You know, he's been in retirement for years, okay, years. I mean, do you think he ever, do you think that he would want to step back in the seat as CEO? Hey, he could surprise me, though. It could be a surprise. But Steve Wozniak, I mean, Wozniak was not a leader. He was a developer. You know, he had the mind to build the Apple computer. I mean, he had that mind, and, and he was a brilliant man. I mean, he brought Apple computer to to uh, the schools and to many desktops at home. And, yes, it was very expensive back then, but, I mean, just think about how many desktops had an Apple computer, including that Apple. I mean, you have to admit, the Apple II GS was the bomb back in the days. It was like my my, my I remember – Looking at the graphics on that thing, I'm like, wow, it looks so realistic. <laughs> it was like simple 2D, you know, 16-color graphics, you know. And as compared to the three-color, two, three-color graphics that she had, what was it, purple, green, and white? Yeah, it was purple, green, and white, I think. <laughs> uh, yeah, purple, green, right, uh, white. That was pretty interesting what you can make with purple, green, and white. And so that, that's, those were the color choices that we had with the earlier versions of Apple. And then they made Apple II GS, and it was gorgeous. It was like, wow. And it was a good-looking computer for the time. I mean, you remember it had that little box. It had like a little thing that sit out a little bit in front. It had a nice little keyboard and a attachable mouse. Did it have a mouse? Wait a minute, hold on. I actually can't remember if I had a mouse or not. But it was a naked little computer, you know? And uh, the computer that I worked on most was Apple IIe. When I was, you know, going through high school, we had a computer lab, and they had an Apple IIe there. They didn't have PCs um, at the high school. I started working on PCs, which was Windows 3.1. <laughs> it was some version of Windows. And actually, no, it wasn't. Now, I'm, I'm really thinking back here because it was strictly DOS. I remember that. We had to learn DOS in order to open uh, WordPress. Or not WordPress. It was, you know, guys, I really have to think back about this because Microsoft Word and all that wasn't invented yet. But I think Corel had a Word program that was strictly DOS. And you have to learn a few commands like bold, and you use the mouse to highlight text. And it was still in DOS, but you created your Word document in DOS, and it looked sort of like HTML. It actually looked like more like BBS, yeah, if any of you guys know what that means. Uh, it's a form. A lot of forms uses that syntax still. But it was sort of like BBS. And... I remember, I mean, that, wow, that goes way back. Oh, my God. I remember I started working on Windows 3.1 at one of my jobs. And I remember it was still DOS-based. It was in the, back, the background was still DOS-based. I guess most Windows applications is still DOS-based, but it was strictly DOS-based. And... It just had a front. You know, the windows was just a front. 
and you you know it's it was just a launcher of your applications and some settings, but mostly uh, DOS was running in the background, and then Windows 95 came out shortly after Windows 98, which was not as good as Windows 95. A lot of companies didn't switch over to 98 because it was not stable, but that's when they were trying to introduce the NT kernel. Was was in you know, 98 and me. Windows 7 is probably the, the most stable. Oh, then we had Windows XP. That's right. I forgot about that one, which was a lot more stable. It had a lot more security parameters. Um, which there are very few companies today that are still using Windows 95, but there are a lot of companies still using Windows XP. A lot of the companies that has a you know larger budget in the IT department are using Windows 7. Will this will they switch to Windows 8? I don't think so. I think a lot of enterprises will purchase tablets with Windows 8 on it, but as far as the desktop computer, no, I don't see that happening anytime soon. Uh, I really don't see any of the enterprise replacing their desktops until like Windows 9, maybe Windows 10. And I think by then, Microsoft will have a polished, more versatile Windows environment or Metro, I know you can't say Metro anymore, modern environment. It will be more polished, it will be tight, it will be more secured. In fact, it's secured right now, but I think a lot of companies won't switch until at least Windows 9 or Windows 10. Uh, let me see. Whew, it is cold. It's like 41 degrees right now. Good Lord. When I left the house, it said 41 degrees on the Weather Channel. I'm like, whoo, okay, we're getting close to that freezing temperatures. And they were saying on the news that we're going to be hitting a freeze point. Last year, it didn't get this cold. The coldest it got was like 45 degrees. Um, so last year, we had a very hot summer and winter. And it was extremely hot in the summer, extremely dry. We were in a drought. And then in the winter time, it was extremely dry, uh, about 45 degrees or above uh, winter. And it only lasted for like a, a few days. But this time around, I think we're going to get hit with a nice cold spell that's going to freeze this area up. And if it rains, we're talking about slick roads, and this is going to be a pain in the ass for me to get to work. <laughs> I'll tell you that. Especially with all this walking, I mean, I don't have a clear spot to my job here or the train. So this is going to kind of suck for a minute. All right, I'm almost at the train station. I know cell phones um, they tend to get hot when it does a lot of recording. My cell phone will love <laughs> being out here in the cold because it will keep it cool while I was recording. All right, so I'm almost at the train station. I'm going to check out for now and smoke a cigarette before the train comes. Peace.